and welcome to another video. Today is Wednesday the 5th of October 2016 and in tonight's video I'm going to look ahead and preview day 5 of the PDC Unibet World Grand Prix which is going to take place on Thursday the 6th of October starting at 7pm live on Sky Sports from the City West Hotel in Dublin. Now we're going to see all four quarter final matches take place on day 5. It's over the same format as the last 16 so the best of 5 sets and the first match we're going to talk about sees Michael Van Gerwen take on Simon Whitlock. Now these two have played 25 times previously and Michael Van Gerwen has 19 wins. There have been 5 wins for Simon Whitlock and there have been 1 draw. Interestingly enough, Simon Whitlock won the last meeting between this pair and the Pro Tour on Saturday. It was a final and Simon Whitlock won that meeting. But before that, Michael Van Gerwen had won the previous 10 meets between these pair. Now Michael Van Gerwen won his last 16 match against James Wilson by 3 sets to nil with a 97.17 average. He lost the first leg and then he won 6 legs in a row. And then the third set was a lot, little bit tighter. It was 3 2 to Michael Van Gerwen. It was another very, very good performance by Michael Van Gerwen. Just the bar that he sets himself and he hit the, those heights again. Simon Whitlock in his second round match beat Alan Norris, an absolute thriller, by three sets to two with an 89.44 average. Simon went 2 0 up in sets in this match and you thought it should be a normal, comfortable win for Simon Whitlock. But Alan Norris came back in this match and made it two sets all. And he went 2 2 1 up in the final set. And Simon Whitlock produced two magnificent legs of darts and 16 near perfect darts to win under pressure that set by three legs to two and win the match by three sets to two. Be interested to see if Simon Whitlock can take the good part from that match, the first two sets and the last bit of the third set and push them all at the same time. If he can do that, he will push Michael Van Gerwen in this match. But I think Michael Van Gerwen will be too strong for Simon Whitlock. And I think Michael Van Gerwen will win this match by three sets to one over Simon Whitlock. The second match we're going to talk about sees Dave Chisnell versus Daryl Gurney. Now these two have played six times previously and Daryl's won on four occasions and Dave has won on two occasions. But I don't think any of those meetings are important because they haven't played this year. Now Dave Chisnell beat Brendan Dolan by three sets to want his sec second round match with a 94.33 average. He broke throw in the first set and that was a big turning point of this match. From then on he could cruise home just holding his own throw. But he did look under pressure when throwing darts at a double against throw and he can't do that against Darrell. Now Darrell in his second round match beat Steve West by three sets to nil with a 86.12 average. It was a very, very mature performance by Daryl Gurney. He's not 100% with his wrist. He said that in his post-match interview with Laurie James. It'd be interesting to see if we've got 100% a couple of tomorrow night. Will that make any difference? 24 hours. It'd be interesting to see. Now, what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think this match was a very, very tight match, but I think Daryl Gurney will beat Dave Chisnell in this match by three sets to two. The penultimate game we're going to talk about is Gary Anderson versus Kim Hybrids. Now these two have played 18 times previously and Gary has won on 11 occasions and Kim has won on 7 occasions. They've played 3 times this year and Kim has won all 3 meetings this year. He won the European Tour in May by 6 legs to 5 in Gibraltar. Then he backed it up with a win in the World Cup in June by four legs to two and he won the European Tour in July by six legs to four. Now Gary Anderson won his second round match against Kyle Anderson by three sets to one with a 96.88 average. She had three sets to nil one for Gary Anderson. He stuttered at the end of the third set and Kyle Anderson stuck with him in that set and he managed to pick up the set but then Gary was straight on it again in the next set and won that set quite convincingly. The best pot point of a checkout for Gary Anderson was 118 checkout to seal the second set. That was a magnificent checkout at a great moment from it sealed the set. His double percentage has been good as well. His starting double percentage has been 55% but he want to improve his finishing double percentage was a little bit low for him at 32% but he'll be very very happy with that starting double percentage. If he can push that in this match he'll be very very happy. Kim Hybrids in his second round match beat Stephen Bunton by three sets and out with a 98.47 average. It was a very, very impressive performance. He lost two legs in this match and hit the right score at the right times in this match. And his double percentages were very, very impressive. 
58% in the starting double and 69% in the finishing double. The finishing double percentage is a lot better than Gary Anderson's percentage. Now what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think this match will be a very, very close match. I think this will be three sets to two match. But I think Gary Anderson will nick this match by three sets to two. I think this match could go either way. But I'm going for Gary Anderson to win this match by three sets to two. The last match we're going to discuss is between Benito van der Pass and Raymond van Barneveld, the all-Dutch meeting. Now these two have played four times previously and Raymond van Barneveld has won all four occasions. Three of the matches were on the Pro Tour and the last meeting was the European Tour. The only one Raymond van Barneveld actually qualified for, he beat Benito van der Pass in the quarterfinals by six legs to one. It was a crushing performance by Raymond van Barneveld in that match. Now, Benito van der Pass won his second round match against Terry Jenkins by three sets to one with an 84.76 average. He was a set down in this match, but he dug in well and he produced the goods. As the match wore on, he won the last two sets in the deciding leg, so it could have went either way this match. If Terry Jenkins had won those last leg deciders, it would have been 3 1 to Terry Jenkins. But he had lost them and it was 3 1 to Benito van der Pass. He was average on his doubles, 42% in the going in, so he was always getting away on his first three darts, and he was 38% on the finishing doubles. So that's not too bad statistics. Rayon van Barneveld in his second round match was very, very impressive against Adrian Lewis. He beat him by three sets to nil with a 97.9 average. The turning point in this match was in the first set. It was two legs to one down in that, and he turned it around winning two legs in a row and winning the first set. He's back to using his old phase one darts, and I always think he plays better with these phase one darts than he does with any other darts. His double percentage was very, very impressive. 71% on the starting double, and 50% on his finishing doubles. If he can repeat that, he will win this match very, very easily. Rayon's main concern in this match is that level of consistency dropping off. He can't drop off in levels of consistency. But what do I think is going to happen in this match? I think that Rayon will be too strong for Benito van der Pass in this match. We'll see that refreshed Rayon van Barneville over the last couple of weeks. And I think Rayon van Barneville will win this match by three sets to one over Benito van der Pass. So with that... That's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you want to leave any feedback in this video, you can do so by the comment section below or by my Twitter, which I'll also leave in the description below. And until tomorrow when I preview the semi-finals of the PDC Unibet World Grand Prix, I will see you then. Goodbye.